Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel all about BA. So this session is quickly going to be about how do we parse an XML file from Azure Data Factory. Okay, when you talk about an XML file, right, the schema definition or the structure of XML file uh, becomes very important. Okay, so normally we have the structure or schema of an XML file defined in an XML schema definition file or DFD file okay in any of these files we can store or save the structure of whole XML file that we are going to deal with okay so in this session I am going to show you how do we point to an XML uh, XSD file from an XML file and how to load that file from Azure Data Factory to a um, blob storage path okay this is uh, what is going to be our agenda for this session all right I will quickly show you uh, my XML file and the XSD file that we are going to use in our Azure Data Factory. Okay, so I have a XML file by name books.xml and its corresponding schema file in books.xsd. Okay, you can generate XSD uh, or schema file from my XML file online. There are various online tools available for you to do this particular conversion or extract the schema definition. Okay, so my XML is uh, um, going to be looking so simply. Okay, we have a catalog wherein we have lots of book details. Inside every book tag, you have an author tag, title tag, genre tag, price tag, and published date tag. So we are going to pass this particular XML from Azure Data Factory. But before that, as I told you, we have to have a, an option to refer the XSD file from the XML mm, file. Okay, so this is how I'm pointing to my XSD file, which is present in my same directory as the XML file. Wherever my XML file is sitting in the same container or same folder only, my XSD folder is also sitting. So how can I refer to that is I can simply mention the mm, file name books.xsd because my XSD file is also in the same container or same place where my XML file is sitting. Okay, we are just mentioning XML namespace and then we are giving a you mm, are namespace which has to be referred from the Azure Data Factory that I am going to show you. I will just uh, upload these two files in my Git repository from where you can take it and try it out um, with the same files. Okay, so main thing to concentrate is the syntax of uh, uh, pointing the XSD file okay so uh, if you have it handy right whatever I am using then you can experiment with the XML and XSD combinations all right I have my uh, data flow already created so this is my source uh, um, data connection I am pointing to my XML file okay so it's just a just that we directly point it from my blob so to source options here right so you have something called XML settings so similarly we saw for JSON file if you remember uh, our uh, um, session with flatten right flatten operation then we discuss something similar to this but wherein you had JSON settings okay when pa when we passed the JSON file all right so uh, under XML settings right you have something called XSD none or one more option will be there I'll, I'll just show you DF DTD okay it's not DFD I have uh, wrongly mentioned it. it it is DTD all right so we have to choose the validation mode which is the validation mode we are um, uh, asking the data factory to use okay it will be looking for that particular file detail inside your XML file okay all right so I'm choosing XSD and I'm choosing namespaces whenever we choose XSD right it will accept this namespaces check checkbox to be clicked okay also you remember in our XML file we gave something called namespace here XML namespace okay so this is all mandatory when you have to deal with an XML file and you have to refer to a XSD um, schema definition file okay so that's all with respect to the setting all right and then what I did is I added a flatten transformation in order to uh, extract my tag details okay I'll show you how my XML file is looking so already I showed you in the beginning we have a catalog uh, uh, tag inside which we have a book tag which is a complex tag in the sense it has multiple simple tags within it okay so that is what it is uh, showing you here so what we are going to do is we are going to unroll this whole XML document by book okay so that we can have books author books title book genre everything saved in a different column all right so that is why we have added a flatten flatten operation here and then I have unrolled it by 
book okay so in order to extract the book details right i am unrolling it by book and then once i do that and refresh it right we'll have all the attributes of the book coming in uh, into different columns okay that is uh, how we have to unroll the json or xml files tags complex tags all right finally i am going to write the output to a csv or text file okay that is what we are going to do i'll quickly run this uh, and uh, we can see how the xml tags are written okay so we have to start the data flow debug and then we can debug the whole pipeline okay my data flow debug uh, has started uh, uh, i mean it is active now what i'm doing is i'm just uh, renaming my output columns okay uh, in flatten settings we have uh, unrolled the uh, tags by uh, books and then we have to and the column names are not looking good right so i'm just uh, renaming the column names or giving an alias these will get written to a text file okay all so my changes are published now i am executing the pipeline so let's see if the records uh, get written to a text file in my blob storage path so this is the text file in which we are going to write our uh, output to so let's see if it gets refreshed now all right so the output file has been created let's look at the data it's just going to be the uh, details of all the books that are present in our xml file okay this is going to be our header okay this is how we parse an xml file using an xsd file from azure data factory okay in case you have any doubts about this please let me know in the comment section uh, thanks a lot for watching keep supporting